Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. And, well, I haven't actually done these yet. I'm a bit behind. Um, of course, we got some new hulls in Core Patch 1. And I haven't, haven't looked at any of them. And Twitch chat has, has spoken. They want to see the new experimental Japanese Heavy Cruiser first available in 1935. Um, now, this was just one that I uh, quickly built for... Um, <laughs> which is another one we can look at. Uh, that was just one I quickly built for a thumbnail um, for the uh, Core Patch 1 video. But this is the Experimental Heavy Cruiser. It looks a little bit like um, a French battleship. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it is chunky. Um, although I'm not entirely sure this is the right one. No, it's not. That's because it's not a heavy cruiser. It's a battle cruiser hull I'm after. Even though the description... Ooh, don't crash. Ah, it's here. This is the one I was looking for. So it's not... Oh, I'll add a heavy cruiser quickly. It's not this one. I thought that looked familiar. The experimental heavy cruiser. The experimental cruiser is a battle cruiser. Okay, good. Well, I was going to test it against a battle cruiser anyway. Why do they say it is essential? Because so I was going on the description, which is essentially a small battle cruiser. No, it is a small battle cruiser. That's exactly what it is. Okay, that's that's a long hull. Damn. Uh, okay. Even the small version of it's huge. We've got three sizes. Let's go for the uh, top end of the medium size. Do 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 do. Uh, ooh, lots of different towers. That's a funky looking thing. An enhanced version. Very nice. That one's the same. Yeah, all of those are the same. The medium cruiser towers. We have a lot... Yeah, it's just scaled up versions by the looks of it. They do look nice, though. I, I do like that. Hmm. Alright. Now, stat-wise... Uh, they're all pretty much a much of a muchness. Let's just go with the good one. For now. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but they have... Actually, no. That's... That's too much. I'm going to go for the sec. I'm going to go for the second best one. It because it's 600 tons lighter. And saving 600 tons for a couple of points of base accuracy. I think. I think that's all right. Um. Do 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 do. Is there a battle, battle cruiser in your pocket? Or are you just pleased to see us? Whoa. Okay. They're cute. <laughs> All right, that's the same one. We have the crane tower. All right, funky looking. I love that crane for the boats. Very nice. Uh, crane tower two. Oh, sorry, crane tower one enhanced. Crane tower two, which is the same but the other way around. Okay. Enhanced version, uh, Crane Tower 3, which has funky stuff on it. Okay, an enhanced version of that. And none of them are particularly... Oh, wait, wait, what? You're kidding me. So the Crane Tower 3, 9 base accuracy, 1,258 tons, just over a million quid. A million dollars. This thing, 13 base accuracy... Under a million, 600 tons. Mini Tower 4, please. Yes, excellent. Oh, we got some of these new angled funnels, which is very cool. Uh, we'll get to the rest of the ship. We'll get to that in a minute. Set up the uh, engines first. Now, we have a new choice here, turbo electric drive, which I've not looked at before. That's, that's pretty nice. Um... That's very nice, actually. That's lots of positives. 
I mean, it does make the engines pretty heavy, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. I can't access these. I'll take a turbo electric drive for a, for a spin. Uh, there is no uh, so deck funnels only on this one, John Craig. Um, and ah yes, so these are no longer turbo electrics. This is electric one and electric two battery backup systems. Let's go for a, a nice backup system. Electro hydro steering gear, very fancy. Get all the fancy stuff. We'll just go with a. Mm, I think I went with a. 60 regular crew for the, my my uh, testing video, so we'll we'll stick with that. And um, that's pretty achievable in the campaign. A regular crew uh, should maybe start testing these things on trained, but I'll I'll stick with what I've been doing. All right, how much smoke does that give us? 20.6. That is that is terrible, but uh, it's not real because the uh, turbo electric is giving us a. Modifier on that. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Ooh, it's funky. It's a funky tower. I love the steps going up it. That is cool. Right. Um, now, if you're trying to balance hulls in uh, CP1, try and get your tower funnel, towers and funnels balanced, because it really, it really does help um, far more than the guns. Um, in previous versions. Point 0.7. I can live with that. That is a that is a tiny little superstructure. Look at that. Look at all that deck space. Damn. Hmm. All right. Yeah, it's very it's very snug, isn't it? You can it even snugly isn't it? That's the best I can get it. Okay. Gun-wise, ooh, 12-inch 12, 12 Mark Fives. Yes, please. I love a 12-inch love a twelve inch gun on a battle cruiser. It makes it a cruiser killer. Um, oh, all the new barbettes, too. Um, but I think a medium is actually... The boring old medium one will work just fine. Yes, lovely. Right. That works for me. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Um, secondary guns. What have you got for me? For any five inch anywhere? Uh, it gives you slots all on the side, which is interesting. Might mess around with that in a minute. Just looking for any uh, slots up on the superstructures. Two inch. Cute. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. Okay. So you <coughs> you really kind of have to invest. Hmm. Really interesting. Okay. If I can do anything funky with a barbet, there's this new... <laughs> Just looking for... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Side barbet mounting. Those can be really, really useful. But uh, it does look like you get one there and one there, but... And one there. Hmm. That's it, though. Okay. Can maybe make something of that. Six inch? Nah, it's too big. Maybe get a, a battery of four inch guns in. Help shoo away destroy us. I don't think it impacts on uh it does a bit. Yeah, it impacts quite a lot. Okay. Maybe just do it like that, so they're just sitting underneath. Not not quite as cool, but it'll work. Alright, hello there. Dr. Trifonius, that's a very cool name. Welcome to the chat, and welcome to the channel. 
Just, uh, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll finish the rest of the ship, then I'll try and balance it. But, uh, I like that. That's, uh, that's a nice, that's a nice little ship. That's a nice little ship. Right, Citadel 5. Oh, have they fixed this? No. <laughs> I only reported this one today. Anti-Torpedo 5. Current version of the game, version 95 as I'm recording this, is useless. <laughs> Those numbers are not right. Here's anti tort 1. Here's anti tort 5. Yeah, that, that ain't right. <laughs> so, slap on uh, anti tort 4, shall we? Let's try and build out the ship. See what we end up with. Standard bulkheads for now. Uh, two powder, yes please. Very standard setup for me. Sorry, get the TNT 4 in there. Super heavy shells, 1% flash fire chance. Can I get that to zero? No. We'll stick with standards then. Um, haven't fiddled with any of this yet. So we'll probably see how fast this thing actually goes. Ooh, you can actually... Ah, turbo electric still gives you this. It's pretty nice. How fast are we going on a natural? Uh, not super fast. Induced. Mm, sorry, chat. I can see you out the corner of my eye. I will. Uh, okay, so induced, pretty much as fast as they like. How about uh, thirty-five knots? I think that's that's a pretty, pretty, pretty nice speed. Um. Uh, hey there, person says Edward. Will you do <coughs> a video with general thoughts on the campaign at some point? Uh, yes, once it settles down a bit, probably. Um. Oh yeah, I'd have to mount deck torps, so no, I'm not bothered going to... I might have fitted some underwaters, but I'm not going to bother with deck torps. Um, fit some radar, because there, there's hotfixes coming out a lot. Like, if I'd done it initially, when we couldn't even move ships, and that came very, very quick. So, And I'm overweight. But that's fine, because uh, we've got uh, ludicrous range, and, and uh, maximum bulk. We've got those to standard, which is... I'm finding it absolutely fine at the moment. Um, we'll get a little bit more armor, which tends to be a bit better. Let's go for a 12-6. Uh, five inch on the main deck, that's okay. Go for 11 inch main belt. I don't mind uh, my family crashing and walloping in the background. <laughs> um... Three inch decks would be really nice to have. Ooh, maybe I do like. I mean, this ship, which is designed to kind of go up against other cruisers, very nice to have a hefty superstructure armor as well. Yeah, I'm not too fussy about the four inch guns or anything, but we'll just armor up the tower. So we get to three eight five. There we go. Ninety eight million. Hey, that's not a bad price. That's not a bad price at all. 1935? Yeah, that's really not a bad price. Hmm. Right, let's see if we can uh, fix the offset. Uh, which is now an halfway offset. Now, this is where I really, really wish you could group. Because what all they want to do is just literally ship everything along. There we go. Perfectly balanced. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. That has that has appearance. Hmm. Yes, please. Okay. Hmm. If you if you want a fast ship, don't use turbo electric. Really? I mean, we're doing thirty-five knot on induced boilers, and we could we could you know we could we we go in thirty-seven if we wanted. It's uh, pretty pretty decent. I quite like the turbo electrics. Um, yeah, diesels are probably better. Actually, curiously, yeah, diesels are better. I mean, look at that, save the weight. But um, yeah, I don't think turbo electrics are, are bad by any means. HP per ton, yeah. It doesn't have the best HP per ton, 
compared to yeah 58 but uh, that smoke interference reduction means you can get a lot more funnels on um, which kind of balances it out a little bit um, and that's just nice that's just nice to see all that green look at that acceleration turning rate this is very, basically this is a very maneuverable ship and uh, all those ship repair buffs yeah it's nice yeah gas turbines I haven't messed around with those yet anyway enough of my waffling let's get into the let's get into the testing unlock all yeah yeah you can't get access to it otherwise I believe do, 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 do. gas turbines not worth it oh well We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Hello there, uh, Retnav54. USN went turbo electric on some of the standard battleships. Nice. Interesting. I, I know it's a, re it a real historical thing. I think it had, a, it had a bit of a bad reputation, though, because as far as I understand it, if you took a hit to the engine rooms, you lost everything. <laughs> Electrical power to everything goes. Propulsion goes. Steering goes. The lot. Um... So I know it wasn't the most popular, but, uh, you know, let's try it out. Uh, good evening, Praetorianus. I believe quite a lot of um, modern ships use something similar to a turbo electric drive, but, uh, like, isn't a cod lag or something like that? Like, but it'll use a gas turbine to then drive a electric motor, which then does it. Anyway, naval propulsion is weird. Yes, wet, wet batteries. <laughs> yeah, it is a long, big boat. All right, let's go and uh, find some Americans, shall we? Now they have a battle cruiser, fourteen-inch guns, six of them. Uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Farmer forty-six forty. Hello. Been uh, watching on YouTube for a year. Wow, thank you very much. I've only been on YouTube again for about a year, so uh, you must have been there right at the beginning of me covering Dreadnoughts, which is great. Welcome to Twitch. That is a lot of torpedoes. <laughs> God damn it. <coughs> oh well. Yes, uh, I'm always on the receiving end of the damn things. That does look good. That is a good looking ship. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Yeah, they did stick to my rule. You're right. I mean, uh, 14 inch is a bit underwhelming. Or maybe it would have gone 15 or 16, given it's 1935. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, about right. Apart from, uh, well, I guess I can excuse the barbette on the back because it's. The secondary guns. I don't like the mismatch of secondary guns. No, not not too terrible. <coughs> Bloody hell, onion! Let me uh, cough up my, my juice. <laughs> Thank you very much for the thousand bits. Welcome back, to chat. <laughs> right. We'll need to get IDs on them, but if we hit right at them, and we have a little light... Ooh, nice hit. But a little light cruiser, which is really derpy. What is that? More torpedoes. Great. Oh, yeah, the destroyer. That's funny. <laughs> Not sure why we're shooting the destroyer, but okay. Health to cough up the juice once in a while. You are quite right. <laughs> it probably has, but uh, if I had just kind of away now, probably avoid them. I really need to get IDs going. Very slow at the moment. Do -do 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 yeah, we can compare costs in a minute. 
that's always an interesting, uh, interesting thing. Yeah, fire on the Hawaii, would you? See, she's level with us. She doesn't have torpedoes, but oh, that's not good. Really, a flash fire? That doesn't seem right. What happened there? Show me the damage log, please. 14 inch went through the main belt. Of course, flash fire. Flash fire chance on this is really low, though. It's like one, one percent. That's a one percent hit. I feel a little hard done by that they got a one percent hit. Ugh, jeez. Anyway, I wonder if the Tenryu can actually still pull this off. Hawaii is 137 million. Memphis is nearly as much, 124. Birmingham is 52. Yeah, we're, we're significantly out, um, <coughs> outclassed here in terms of budget. I think that's a bit mean, though. I know. RNG just absolutely decided to blow me up. I might do a do-over and restart the battle. If, uh, well, basically if we get completely rinsed because of that. But we are still having a good showing. Interesting to know, yeah, this is really... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Something doesn't seem quite right about that. Let's... Let's have another look at the ship. Uh, let's take out the enemy... No, no, no let's leave the battlecruiser in. Um, wait, what? Where'd my design go? Game. Where's my design? I don't want to do it all again. What happened there? You seen that, Jack? The design's gone. That's a little weird. Well, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> well, oh dear. <laughs> Press load. Yeah, no, that's, that's only going to load a battle I saved. No, I know. Uh, I'm going to do some more campaign in a minute. Um, yeah, I don't want to rebuild the entire ship. Well, sorry about that, folks. Um, that's... Uh, I, I think it probably is one for the bug report. I'm 99% I'm sure I had a 1% flash fire chance. Now, the ammo debt... You know, I had standard bulk kids. You know, but to get a flash fire and an ammo debt on a ship that had, you know, standard bulk kids... Reasonable armor, tube powder. Yeah, no, it didn't save my ship. Thank you for the follow, Nagami. No, no, no. It should. It's so. What's supposed to happen is the game should keep all your designs for all of your ships for a certain country in year, but it's not. It's just disappeared. Oh well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and I'll continue looking at some of the new hulls. Bye for now.